Okay then, so in this lesson, we're gonna inject some initial data into the index template so we can show some actual content for that data. And I wanna let you know before we start this lesson that the actual HTMX content in this video is pretty much none. We might mention it a little bit and how it's gonna work in the future, but for now, we're gonna focus on just making an index view or fleshing out the index view, which lists out a bunch of data. And that doesn't really need any HTMX. But then in the next lesson, we'll be adding some HTMX to the view. Anyway, the data we're gonna be using is just some dummy data that we can output in a grid of cards on the page. And that data lives inside this data folder in the articles.js file. And you can see this just includes an export and array of three article objects, each with an ID property, a title, and a body. So then we wanna make this articles array available within the index view so that we can see it. And to make data available in a viewing pug, we should pass it into the view as a property on the object when we say which view we wanna render. So in the routes file, we can already see that we pass a title property through. And this is how we can pass values into views, right? As properties on an object as the second argument to this render method. And those properties are then accessible in whatever view we pass them into. In this case, it's the index view. And also any partial views nested within the index or any views the index extends like the layout view. So anyway, we already pass a title in and that actually gets used in the layout view. But now we also wanna pass through an articles property. So let's make that property first of all. And then we also need to import the articles data from the articles file at the top of this route file so that we can pass that value into the view. So let's do that by saying import articles and it comes from dot dot forward slash to come out of this folder, then into data and then forward slash articles.js. And once that's done, we can then pass those articles as a value to the articles property in this object, meaning that now we should be able to use this articles value inside the index view. So let's head to that index view and use those articles. And in this articles view, I wanna make a new div beneath the H2 with the class of article list. To do that, we can just say div.article hyphen list. And actually, we don't even need the div part. We can leave that off because Pug uses divs as the default tag when one isn't specified. So if we just say dot article hyphen list, then this will render a div with a class of article hyphen list. Now, actually, I wanna make a new partial view for the list of articles for two reasons. One, because it makes that partial view reusable if we wanna use it elsewhere later, which I think we will. And two, because it keeps this view, this index view cleaner. So let's first make a new folder inside the views folder called partials for any partial views. And inside that folder, we'll make a new file called list.pug. Since this is gonna be a list of articles in here, you can call it what you want them. All right then, so before we flesh this view out, I wanna make sure that we nest or include this view inside the index one. So let's go back to that view and beneath the article list div, tab once to say we're nesting something in this div and then say include followed by a path to the view we wanna include. So partials to go into the partials folder, then forward slash list. All right then, so now back in the list view, we still get access to the articles property because this view is nested within the index view, which we passed the articles into. So what do we wanna do with the articles data inside this file then? Well, remember the articles data is an array and we want to output a bit of template for each item in the array. So we wanna somehow loop through these and output a bit of template for each one. The way we do that in Pug is by saying each article in articles. So articles is the data we have and we refer to each one as an article. You can call it X, Y, Z if you wanted to, but I'm calling it article. And then again, we have to indent and we can output the template here. And what Pug will do is cycle through the articles and for each one, output this bit of template. So let's say div right here and we'll give each one a class of article. And then below that div, remember we don't actually need to write the div, we can just say dot article and it will still be a div. But then within that div, we wanna output three things, a title of the article, then some kind of body snippet, so a short section of the body and then also a button at the bottom that says view more details or something like that. So let's do an H3 first. And then to output something dynamic, we use a pound sign or a hash and then curly braces. And then we can access the variable. So article in this case, this thing right here. 
and then dot and then whatever property we want. Now it's the name property. If we take a look at this, we have name and body. All right, so we have put the name. Below that, we'll do a P tag for the article body. So again, hash and then curly braces, article dot body. And I don't want to output the entire body because that would be a huge paragraph. Instead, we'll slice a small section of that. So say dot slice, and then we'll go from position zero to 100 characters. So we're just getting the first 100 characters here and outputting those. And then after those 100 characters, we'll do dot, dot, dot to say there's more. All right, and then finally, a dot btn. Um, let's do that correctly, btn. And we'll say view details for the text of that link. All right, and by the way, we have already created styles for these classes right here, so everything's gonna look okay in the browser. Okay, cool, so that is the list view sorted. All right, cool, so now we can see all those articles on the home page, and everything seems to be working. So in the next lesson, we'll set up these buttons to navigate to a details view for each article using HTMX to basically swap out content on the screen and update the URL in the address bar.